know the answer, don't worry, you're not the Lone Ranger. The internet is in fact a groundbreaking computer network that offers all of us a gateway to the world. But how on earth does it work? And most importantly, how can you get into it using your home computer? We have World Wide Websites, Altelnet into here via the Cisco router, you know, and surfing the net. You've got to be on TCP, of course. TCP, I sometimes Mosaic and Gopher and Netscape. I can actually FTP anywhere, anywhere in the world and download files on FTP using, and, and, and if you've got a... Confused, mystified by the maze that is the information superhighway, then this is for you. Technophobes, Luddites, dummies, jump aboard this user-friendly guide and we'll show you how to surf the net. You'll find you don't have to be a Rhodes Scholar to get caught in the World Wide Web. So what is Internet? Internet literally means international network. In basic terms, your computer at home can be linked to any one of the three million Internet users worldwide. As far as information is concerned, it's amazing. But what's changing is that commercial people have got involved and now you're getting interaction and you're getting music and you're getting art and... Uh, uh, you know, generally multimedia on the net. So it's uh, not just information, uh, it's also fun. It really is the start of everybody being one big global village and all talking to each other in much the same way as we do on the telephone now. But what can it do? You can get information on just about anything, buy clothes or even a pizza, do the banking in another country, hear the newest video clips or check out the latest movies from Hollywood. The CIA has even opened some of its files. And the recent WOM Adelaide Festival was networked worldwide. The pictures digitised and available live as performers were on stage. I can be anywhere instantly. I mean, on the screen at the moment I've got uh, uh, the Louvre in, in Paris and uh, I could be in Russia anywhere. I could be talking to people from anywhere. So how do you do it? What you need to get onto the internet is a computer. Any computer will do, but some are faster than others. You may also need some software. The computer then connects to the modem. Now the modem's available from any computer shop or electronic store. The modem then connects to the telephone, and the telephone connects to the internet. Then all you do is dial the number, hit enter, and you're in. Once you're in, it's easy to surf the net. It really wasn't that long ago that I was an idiot as far as the internet is concerned. Now, it isn't hard, and if you follow the instructions, you can get on. And you can't break anything, so all you do is, you know, anything that's blue, you click it, and it'll take you somewhere else. If you can turn on a computer and, you know, look at a screen, you can get onto the internet. It's not really any more difficult than watching TV. We've all heard stories about six and seven year old computer whiz kids, but now their grandparents are muscling in on the action. 68 year old former engineer Ian Baggist has been high on cyberspace for about three months. I'm involved with a computer, local computer club and we have a lot of members over 68, 70. We have some 70 year olds and I know two or three my age at least who are, are getting onto the internet and having a look around. And I quite often have people ring me up and they say, oh, I'm getting a bit old to be doing this, but I thought I'd like to do it. And some of them say, oh, I'm 60, or do you think I'm too late? And I say, no, not in the least. So how much does it cost? Do megabytes add up to megabucks? On top of your computer, the basic package will set you back $200 for the modem and around $30 for the software. And finally, a subscription to a network starts at around $10 a month. You know, you go and turn a television on, you take it for granted, you're getting this signal transmitted to you, you see documentaries and films and you see all sorts of stuff. It's expanded our horizons enormously. That's nothing compared to what you're going to have sitting on your computer. You're going to have anything you really want to find out. In the next two to three to five years, everybody will have internet access. It'll be just like having a telephone in your, in your house. Well, there you have it. It's just like ham radio for the 90s. More of today tonight after the break. Stay with us.